Hey everyone, this is a tutorial video for how to build a deltoidal icosatetrahedron. Now, the first thing you're going to need are six of these pieces here, and also twelve of these pieces. And you start out making them in a pretty similar way. You start off with eight stacked rings of eight, and you go ahead and cut them up and flatten them out into long straight pieces, although at this size it's sometimes hard to get them to stick because they're so small. Um, but you do that, and you attach them together at the corners, and then you kind of bend them around until they're all attaching, like that. And then, finally, you take four extra magnets, make a little square, and put it down right on top. Just like that. And that's how you make these. And you need six of them. And now to get to this, which you need 12 of, you take uh, one of these and you want to remove six magnets from each leg and you want to do it to two legs on opposite sides of each other. So you end up with a leg that looks like that from removing six magnets. And that's how you get to there. And again, 12 of these, six of those. You're also going to need uh, 48 stacked rings of seven magnets. And I'll show you what to do with these in just a minute. So the first thing you wanna to do to start assembling this thing though is attach uh, these things together, or at least start to do it. And you do that by attaching them together at the ends, by bringing the points to the sides of each other and pushing them together like that. And you want to make sure that um, these never directly attach to each other and these never directly attach to each other. They uh, only ever t attach to one of the opposite ones. But the first thing you want to make is a ring of eight subunits that's alternating in kinds as it goes around. So go ahead and do that. Okay, so you get a nice ring of eight. And it's alternating so that the symmetrical ones are here, 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 and here. That's what, those are these ones. And then here, 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 and here are these ones. So the next thing you want to do is you want to make, uh, take one of these and attach these, attach two of them, one on each side, just like that. And then attach this um, across the center onto two of the uh, symmetrical ones. Okay, and now you can fill in these two gaps here with two of these. Okay, and now you're at this point. Um, now, that's where these come back in, these rings of seven. And for each of these open spaces here, what you wanna do is take um, three double stacks and pinch them together and attach them. And I don't like to do this until right before you're gonna attach them because you want them to come together like that and they kind of have a tendency to disintegrate. Um, this is kind of a fragile subunit until you attach it in. But anyways, you build it and then you attach it in using the same attachment method of bringing the points to the sides and doing that. So then attach it to the other two corners and do this to all four uh, spots here. Okay. 
Okay, and so now you've finished that part, and you can go ahead and flip it over, and now you want to uh, kind of do the same thing that you did, where you take your last symmetrical one and two of your remaining asymmetrical ones, build a set of three, and bridge it across here. And then fill in the gaps with these two. And then fill in the remaining four holes. Okay, and once you've done that, you are pretty much done with the shape. Um, one thing, though, if you want to set it on a flat surface, you'll notice that it's kind of hard to do that without having it deform some. So one thing I found that helps a little bit is if you just decide, okay, well, this triangle here is going to be the bottom, and it will rest on those. So if you take three little squares and attach them down here, just like that, and do that to the other two. Then those kind of form a little support, which seems to help it stand up without being quite so badly deformed by its own weight, because it's not a strong shape at all. It's very flimsy. But anyways, that's how you build it. So I guess I will go ahead and smash it now.